Yo, and welcome back to Tales of Art. And if you're enjoying the video, make sure you like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below. But we're back to some Mabinogi G11, the Sword of Light, I believe, which would make sense if I'm remem if I'm remembering correctly. At the end of G10, they mentioned a legendary sword, and then I made a joke saying, "Hey, why is there so many legendary swords in this game that starts with the letter C?" Why can't there be any other letter? I feel like there's three right now. Right? I feel... They mentioned Caliban or Caliburn. I think. And I believe Raori has one of the legendary swords in this game. The one that grants you immortality. Or something like that. Internal youth? I don't know. But Morgan handed it to him because... When he was um, Lube, the champion, the light, he had that sword, which made him undefeatable. Per se. Maybe. Am I, did I even use that word correctly? But yeah, pretty much, he was the sword, he was champ. And I'm, I'm not sure how it works. Do you just not die? Like, if you take a fatal wound, do you just like, oh, I'm all right. I can just walk it off. Or is it the, or is it in the way like, hey, it's like, for example, it's like a random earth farmer against Broly where he, he just hits him and then it just breaks off and nothing happens like that. Like nothing can pierce him. He's like the ultimate shield basically. So I'm not sure whether, which one it is or how it works, but yeah, he has that sword, but he handed it to Raori. We left Raori in Call Khaled? No, Khaled is Elden Ring, right? So he's wandering around. And I think Pinky mentioned him when we were doing the mission. So he's still out there with the legendary sword. And then they told us we there's another one. That was something. Cause it was the opposite of um That's the opposite of the cylinder tower thing. Because one was darkness, the other one was light. But yeah, anyways, I don't know where I'm going with that. But that was what happened. Uh, we also managed to get Demigod that I didn't notice that I got. Because I thought it was a doppelganger that was attacking me. But no, it was actually me attacking me that absorbed... No, was it? Or were we attacking Kai? It's been a while. And we absorbed the Demigod power, which... I guess that meant that we absorbed it into ourselves, so now we have Demigod and um, Paladin. So two powers, so I'm pretty much a, a Bleach reference, a Soul Reaper, and a Hollow at this point. Unless I get more power, and next thing you know, I'm a, a Ronkar and a Quincy. And then some other stuff along the way that makes no sense, but okay. I'm like the ultimate power bottom or whatever. But yeah, continuing on. So I'm assuming since it's called the Sword of Light, it's going to be about the Sword of Light. Oh, yeah, Sword of Light. Oh. So either we're going to get that sword or we're going to destroy that sword or someone's going to get that sword. And I know it's not going to be Raori because he already has one unless he's like the main rival we're gonna have through the entire campaign of Mabinogi or something but yeah so that was what happened also the three gods reunited or what they said was the the currently the ones that are alive maybe quote two females and one questionable male I mean I'm not sure he could be neutral gender neutral no gender ambiguous whatever but yeah. Oh, also one of them had a son who I think died because he got absorbed and then and then he was absorbing Kai again and then we absorbed them into us. Yeah. So that was the thing also. But yeah, so continuing on. Uh, we're seeing the dis disappearance of Butch Nun, the book dealer. Talk to Era or Area or... Aria? Era. Whatever. Talk to Era. The book says you can Oh, no, no. This is the stupid magic craft skill. Well, 
What? I guess the switch. I need your help. You see, I can't get a hold of Mr. Buck Buckman, the famous book dealer. He was supposed to send me a book. Then I heard from some people from Tar that he lost his bookshop. Can you find out if Mr. Buckman is okay? Is there anything else I, I can help with? Nope. I'm looking for in the demo. Enter the library. Okay. Is this a library dungeon? I didn't know that. I mean, did you? Is this like a. A alt? No, it's not. What could Butchin. Butchinen have been searching for here? Search for the bookshelf. Maybe, maybe he dived in too deep and then they had to take him out to silence him. What I do? I guess I just talk to these books. Bookshelf circular. A huge bookshelf stretches all the way from the floor to the library high ceiling. Old books and volumes line every shelf. A soft ray of light can be seen through spots where the bookcase sag, casting a warm sapia light into the room. A musty scent of old paper permeates the area. Okay. It's the same. Telling me to leave, but I don't have the book library card. Oh, could the book Buckman was looking for be here? You pull out a book, collecting payments even when your hand was has slipped, Fergus. This can't be the book Butchman Butchman was looking for. You pull out another book, a study on physical proportion of giants, Manus. Ooh, is he interested in giants? I mean, did you get cake? This is probably wasn't what Butchnan was interested in either. Well, we know Manus has great taste. A man of culture. You notice a dusty book marred with finger smears. A report on the fluctuation of diet and prices. So, oh my god. The fashion nogis. Look like an interesting read. You find a strange card amongst the book. Butchnan uh, Dunbar and Library card. Finally, a clue. Return to Era. Ara? Damn, I, I, I remember how to pronounce her name. I mean, I learned how to pronounce her name back then in Chapter 1, but it's been a long time since I talked to her, so I kind of forgot. Just like, was it Adan? His name? There's like eight different ways to spell his name, and I was pronouncing it wrong. Cause I'm like, that does not look like a Edan. It's like E D A N, and then there's like A D H A N, and then there's like there's like A O D H A N, I believe. There's like so many ways to spell his name, and they it's weird. This book says you can. Okay, okay. This belongs to Mister Butchnan. Why is it list of books he borrowed? Let's see, Partholons, Partholons. That's a difficult book to get through. What could he possibly have been researching? I mean, you can ask the people here. Wait, I got the Tara Royal Library. If Mr. Butchnan was reading books like Partholorins, he must visit the Royal Library at least once. The librarian there, oh, what was her name? I recall that she writes poetry. Anyways, find her and ask her if she knows anything about where Mr. Butchman went. Is there any? Nope. I'm telling you, he was probably silenced by the by the, was it the, the, I don't know, the royalties, the nobles. Although, I mean, so far they have done nothing to make me sus of them, honestly. I'm more sus of the church, but that's only because I play Vindictus. Oh, love the music here. It's my type. It's chill, mellow, not annoying like the circus. I can really relax to this. A middle-aged woman wearing a velvet jacket glances blissfully at the book surrounding her. Her eye seems wise with the knowledge of a thousand upon thousands of books. Huh. She's pretty great looking. 
you uh, come and search a butch then, have you? You say, or is it Arya, right? Era? You say Era sent you. I heard of her. She runs a small bookstore in Dumbarton, correct? Library patrons have spoken of her. Still, Butchlin is a dear friend of mine, and I do not know your intention. Prove to me that you come in good faith. Oh, so she knows where he is. I was about to say, if you don't know, then I feel like you should be worried too. Take this Monaco and head for the Royal Castle Shadow Realm. Many ancient tomes can be found there. Donate any of them to the Royal Library. In exchange, I will reward you with the information you seek. Now, if you lose this Monaco, you can purchase more from me. I trust you know you can enter Royal Castle Shadow Realm from the Altar and Taro, yes? No, I did not know that. Alright. Did you give me a feather? Thank God. Not while mounted. Wait. Wait. <laughs> it wasn't just to take me back? I effed up there. I kind of thought it'll take me to the altar. I didn't think it'll take me back here. I'm an idiot. How did I derp like that? Oh, okay. So I was confused. I was like, I thought she handed me a mission. No. I think it's those sparkly spots on the ground is what they're talking about. Um, I don't want to do Ghost to Park the Loins. I don't want to deal with blinkers, honestly. I think alchem other alchemists would be fine. Can I do hard mode without soul link? God, it's like OG Mabinogi. Where you just hope you can tank it. And you have no aggro. Unless you're an elf, you can play dead. Well, hide was, wasn't that great back then. And we didn't have Christ Escape and all that. All we had was old play dead. A raccoon or is a possum strategy. So, do I wear it? So it says I don't have to complete the mission. I probably won't. Oh. Oh, no. Oh. No. I meant to aim you. Thank God. Thank you. I'm a bit rusty. It's been a while since I played. Well, I mean, it's been a while since I did content like this. Which isn't saying much because it's like so easy. There's like eight years ago content or whatever. But pretty much I don't do shadow mission that often anymore. Because I'm like so burned out on doing shot mission. The only reason I still play Mabinogi is because I want to play the story and understand it. Instead of rushing it for, you know, the whatever. Like, and I want to know what the new story is. Because it looks like it looks, it gets interesting. Because I think I saw some big demon thing. So I want to get to that point and see what it is, but I don't know. Also, there, there was this, I forgot, someone mentioned this divine thing that was super difficult. So, I want to get to that too. Like, how difficult are we talking? Super difficult or like Red Dragon? Also, where is he books? Maybe I shouldn't have chose hard mode. What was I thinking? I feel like I just effed up. It also doesn't help that. Come on. That my pet is dying. I also forgot a fighter. Like, I wonder how deep that to go for the books to show up. Oh, 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 
line 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 it up or not Please, book, show up. Oh, I don't have... Damn. I don't have Soul Link. I, I forgot. I was trying to do Soccer Abyss, but I can't hold the aggro and do it. Jesus. Oh. That worked out in my flavor. Favor. Flavor? <sighs> Me and my English. So bad. Yo, where's those books? Am I am I doing it right? I assume it was the sparkly spots. Yeah, I don't have, I shouldn't fight you. I got things to do. Show me book, please. I need it. I wonder if I pop Jimmy, will it show it? Oh no, you gotta do the middle part? That sucks. Wait, 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 wait. Do I just need one? How many do I need? Hold on, let me, let me look it up real quick. Do I just need one? Okay, okay, so it just says an ancient book. I'm hope I think I picked it up, so I should be good. Just in case I'll go into this room's check. Alright, so I'm gonna go turn it in. It's, I'm, I'm an idiot for you popping the feather. Alright, so donate Ancient Book of Prophecy. The shape of this uh, looks like it was part of something. I better try and match it up with some of the other pieces I have. Thank you. It's okay if you don't have any more books to donate. You have ended your conversation with Ar Ar Arcella? Arcella? I don't know. Ursa, you have proven that you come in good faith. So please take this. It's Bakhtin's Royal Library card. It lists all the book Bakhtin has ever borrowed. I held on to it for him as a friend. Take this card and use it to enter the Royal Castle Shadow Realm from the altar, Tara, altar and Tara. Buckton was there investigating something. He ought to be there still. The library card should help you meet him. Then would you like to enter the Sharon immediately to meet? Yes, enter mission now. Thank you. Where was this earlier? Monster are blocking the way. Defeat the monster to find. Easy. Like these guys pose no threat because it's a story mission. Ancient Book of Meditation. I wonder, is there any point to still collect them? Oh, the hell? Oh man, this is gonna be the bane of my existence, isn't it? What the hell? Psycho? Here? This is only like the first mission. Bro, you can tell me your evil mad terrorist plan right away? Do not be alarmed. I have not come to oppose you. I have come to warn you of impending disaster. Well, duh. Yuri told me when Yuri went on your evil rant about, hey, the Shadow Realm is going to explode. And then when it does, it's going to seep into the world of the living. And then they're gonna merge or monsters or something terrible is gonna happen, which is what you try to do in G10 or G well, yeah. 
Because G9 was when you set it up, right? No, G9 is when you try to do it with what's his name. And then you try again G10 with the uh, demigod power guy. Which can only lead to disaster if I own. If only I seen that earlier. I made a mistake! Bruh, really? Now? You see the Cal oh, Caliburn, yeah, that's the sword. Created by Aton Simony, Forge This World. You see the Caliburn created by Aton. Either the. Created by Aton. The Caliburn created by Aton. The sword made this world. Yeah, it's also the key to complete destruction of it. I mean, that would make sense. It, if you can create something, you can destroy something. You know? Or you know how to destroy it, you know. You know what I'm trying to say. When we stole the Caliburn from the humans, we wanted its power for our own purpose, but we have no intention of destroying the world. What is this, Final Fantasy 14? I brought a nuke, so I can, what is it? I brought a nuke to threaten your lives with it. And it goes off, and then it's like mass destruction everywhere. And then you go and say, what destruction? This was not what I intended. The fuck? Are you stupid? You brought a literal bomb and then it goes off and then you're like, I didn't know this was what was gonna happen. What? That's like the most insane idiotic thing I have ever heard. Sure, sure man, whatever. You made a mistake, you fucked up. It's what? You shot thought this through, but no, you didn't. Again. But now it may be too late. The path of Caliburn has been set. So, and I'll finish reading before I comment. In the end, the Caliburn will drain not just the blood of Malaysian, but the blood of formers and gods as well. Do you recall the ancient race that once prospered the Parthalonians? Yes, they're all in. They're, was a descendant, right? Yeah, they're descendants in tier. So the only reason he's helping us now is because our his goal is aligning with us. Because he wants to stay alive, and I want to stay alive. It's kind of like that moment in Halo 3 when I'm like, Oh snap, the Flood is helping me. And then I remember, oh wait, if the Halo goes off, they, the Flood dies too with the rest of the human race and any life form within a certain radius. So then I'm like, ah yes, once that is over, he would backstab me and then attempt to kill me. Which I'm assuming is what he's going to do at the end when we stop Caliburn. They were utterly wiped out in a single day by the plagues spread by the Caliburn. And now history is about to repeat itself. Who is that though? You think that's Lug? That's probably the guy with the legendary sword then, because he's immortal. It is the very land where the Part Partholonian corpse still lay. Do not forget, one who has received the power of gods also has the obligation to fight for the world. Fuck you! This bitch! You, you have god power. You should save the world. No, no, no. And he's like, I was trying to save the world by resetting it anew. You know what they say? Before creation comes destruction. Beerus over here. So what happened to Buckland then? Is he dead? I've been desperately trying to get a hold of you, Ursula. After you left, I realized the card I gave you didn't belong to Butchnan. To be honest, I'm not sure where I left this card. I don't think that psycho character you met in the shower room can be trusted. I'm worried. No sh yeah, that makes sense, Ursula. So many strange things have been happening here in the royal castle. That voice crack. I'm afraid Buckland's disappearance may also somehow be related to the shallow realm. Please let me know if you need anything. Well, what a great start. Can't wait to see what happens or when he will betray me, because you know it will. But anyways, thanks for watching. Love you guys. Stay safe, and I'll see you next time on G11 Sword of the God, Sword of Light.